There has never been a better time to shop at Ikea than in May of 2024. They have tons of new items for every single design style and I think you're really gonna love them, so let's start shopping. We're going to start today's video in furniture. Now this is the best item of today's video. I shouldn't have put it first, but it's just that good. This armchair is only $130. You can stain it, you can paint it. This is perfect for the modern organic, the vintage inspired, the MCM. You really cannot go wrong with this chair. They have also introduced the lac console in this colorway, which is really great. So if if you have a lighter color scheme, you don't have to go with the black round, which is what this console normally comes in. They've also done a resurgence of a lot of vintage Ikea pieces, and this is one of them. This comes in the yellow and in the white. I find the white to be a little bit more palatable, but if you're looking for an opportunity to really add a pop of color, this is the way to do so. Plus, I love the chrome. They also have this new coffee table, which is full of storage. I'm telling you with this, you don't even need to have a media console, making this perfect for a small space. You can eat here, you can play here. You can store tons of things in this coffee table, though it is $250, which is pretty expensive for Ikea. Next, I want to show you these two side tables. Um, as I said, Ikea is introducing a lot more items in brighter and more fun colors. So Ikea used to be just for people who like Scandinavian design and modern design, but now they're introducing things with color, therefore making Ikea so much more widely applicable. I also did really like this coffee table. It's $39.99, you just cannot beat this price. This is actually great for an indoor-outdoor space if you have one, or if you're just trying to add a little bit more metal into your home, plus tables like this are super easy to clean. I'm also a huge fan of these side tables. It comes in three different colors, though my favorite color, the beige, is temporarily oversold, but this is a great way to stack storage and decor on top of one another. And there are so many new versions of the Calyx. Calyx is Ikea's most famous storage system. They have this TV unit, which is quite chic. They also have this TV unit, which is the nice oak color. I love all of the closed storage, which Calyxes don't often have, but it doesn't look childish, which many Calyxes do. So I've been very, very happy with the new Calyx range. I also need to show you this new color of Calyx. This is the dark green and I just love it. It's so dreamy and I love the asymmetrical shelving that they have introduced. So I love that you can really stagger storage and decor in a very meaningful way. Now this really blew me away despite the $500 price tag. It is this desk, it's 55 inches wide and it has this little see-through drawer so you can put something cute there, whatever, but it has two drawers in it, so there's ample storage for all of your desk needs. And this is a great desk to use in your like work from home area that isn't a designated office because it is so chic looking. There are also a few more dining chairs. Now, I personally would not buy dining chairs from Ikea because I think they are very, very uncomfortable for the price. You can find comparable ones that are a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more stylish on Amazon, on Wayfair. But if you're an Ikea lover, here are the new ones. But again, I would not buy IKEA chairs without going to the store and sitting on them to make sure that they aren't horribly uncomfortable because they do tend to be. They have also introduced a new version of the Kivik. This is one of the most popular sofas from Ikea among my interior design clients, and for good reason. It's super comfortable and it's chunky and it's perfect for a basement or a kid's room or a lounge area, but the price has really gone up, though I do really love this green fabric. Next, we have this wicker armchair for $150. Again, this is an Ikea classic. There's just been a resurgence of it. You could use this indoors or outdoors. It really does not matter. And it's really about how you accessorize it. So you can see with this pillow, it feels very feminine and bright, but if you put something darker on it or something with more texture, it could really lean into any design style. 
They also have this love seat for only $449, which I think is an amazing, amazing price because IKEA furniture is starting to get expensive and it's making a lot of us rethink whether or not we are going to shop there. But for $449, this is perfect if you're living in a studio and you need some seating at the end of your bed. Now, if you want something more traditional, they also have this sofa, the Upland sofa with these arms. Of course, these arms really scream big comfy couch, but there's nothing more cozy and inviting and then a sofa like this, plus the seats are incredibly plush. Now, I am obsessed with this table. I love the vibrancy, I love the storage. This entire collection from Ikea is really killing it. This is one of their only new collections or uh, revived collections that I've actually really had an affinity for. I just love the use of color here. They even sell pieces of fabric that you can bring home and frame to create your own DIY art. Now, they've introduced this sleeper sofa that I think you guys are really going to love. I was wary sitting on it, as you could see there, but it's 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 firm. It would It's akin to a firm mattress, but for the price tag, I feel like this is very decent if you're just putting this in your sunroom or in a room that you don't entertain super often, so it's not um, worthy of a full bed, but you need something that's kind of multifunctional. Next, I wanna show you this bed. It is really, really affordable, which is why I'm showing it to you. It doesn't really do much in terms of design style, but if you want a cute bed, or if you want an affordable bed that you can just kind of cover in pillows and really um, usher the design style with the textiles, this is a great option for you. And they have this bed as well, which I was very, very impressed with the upholstery on the sides and the bottom of the bed. Ikea always does a great job with the headboard, but I really, really liked that it was a fully upholstered bed. And you can take these panels off and wash them, which I love because headboards get so dirty from your head sitting on them. So I love that you can remove this and wash it. They really thought of all of the stops. This makes it a really good bed for your kids or your teenagers if you want to get them something upholstered, but also practical. Now I want to talk a little bit about dressers. So this one for $329 blew me away. An a drawer dresser is pretty much never $330. You do have to secure this one, but it has tons of storage. I think by changing the hardware on this, it could really work for a myriad of design styles. And it doesn't look super dressery in that you couldn't use it in a different room. I might use this in a dining area or in a library or even in a guest room for my office supplies and some clothing. I also love this chest because it's only $80. This is a steel. I don't know quite how you'd put hardware on there, but I think if you figure that out, it could really work well, especially if you lit it underneath. I would probably use these as nightstands as opposed to as like a chest, but this is a great way to save some space in your home. Now, I am simply obsessed with this new desk from Ikea. I love the storage that it has inside of it. You can see the drawer here. It is $200, so it's not cheap, but it's a great desk. The glide on the drawer is very smooth and you don't always get when you're buying a desk for under $300. But this one really takes the cake. I almost took this one home. This is a laptop stand, so it's a standing desk. Great for small spaces. It is $90 and it goes up and down so you can sit with it on your sofa. You can also walk around with it. It has great wheels on it or great glide on it and you can stand get your steps in or just not be sedentary all day especially if you're working from home just look at how smooth that is it took everything in me not to bring this home now i want to move on to the new textiles at ikea in may of 2024 so first we have this bedding pattern and this is very niche i do really like it i love the black and white it's super bold it actually gives me cb2 vibes but as we work through the textiles remember that you can always take any of these textiles the more affordable ones and frame them using a Ikea frames to get a um, more unique artwork or to get a wall tapestry or something like that. So keep that in mind as we move through. You might not like these items as bedding, but you might like them for wall decor. I also really love this green. I love the texture on it. Is it the coziest bedding I've ever felt? No, I always feel that way about Ikea. Ikea bedding, in my opinion, is bedding that you put on your guest bed, something that's not getting washed every single week um, because you're not using it every single week, but you'll want something that's very vibrant and chic and really ties in your design style.
This really reminds me of Pottery Barn, which is the utmost compliment when it comes to bedding. And I think bedspreads are going to be increasingly more popular in 2024 because with them, you don't have to iron your bedding in the same way. And we've already seen this become popular through the work of Jake Arnold. He's a very renowned interior stylist, really making waves in the field. And he has done this in a lot of his designs recently. I also already own this throw, but it is so good because it's reversible. And again, this is one of those pieces I would frame up on the wall because it's so stunning. They also have an array of these pillowcases. I think it comes in three or four different colors. I was very impressed by how soft it is. I think Ikea on the whole is really improving in the quality of their textiles, making them something that not just look good, but also feel good, which is an area where I truly think they were lacking before, though their prices were so low that we allowed them to kind of get by with that. And if you're designing a nursery, if you're into the cottage core, or simply obsessed with Akatar these days, this pillow cover is perfect and it pairs very well with this one. And you will see more of this pillow cover a little bit later on because it comes in so many different colorways. IKEA, as I said earlier, is moving away from purely being Scandinavian and introducing a lot more colors. So every single design style has a pillow cover available to it at IKEA right now. And I love that they're exploring the reds, the rusts, the greens, the tans. They've even expanded the dye tag collection, which is one of the most notable when it comes to IKEA textiles. And as I mentioned earlier, here is the green version of that pillow that I mentioned in reference to that more whimsical one. I believe it comes in four or five different colorways. And remember, if you really wanna mix up your home, you can get the same thing in different colors or get something in very similar colors, but in different patterns and textures. Just look at how vibrant these are and the prices are not bad either. Ikea is definitely the go-to place if you wanna give your space a refresh without breaking the bank because tech textiles are oh so powerful. And just look at this, a pillow with a tassel for under $10. That is virtually unheard of at any other store. These are boucle pillow covers in the size 26 by 26 for only $12. This is even cheaper than Amazon. And I can attest I brought these home and they are buttery soft. And again, here's that same pillow cover, but in the tan. And you can see that when it is fully stuffed, it kind of loses that wave. So if you want to maintain that texture, size it down with the pillow insert. Now, Ikea has the best towels on the planet. I know I have tested them all and they've just released these towels in blue, pink, and green. If your bathroom is feeling a little bit drab, this is the best way to give it a facelift while still keeping your bathroom purely functional. And as for another design Ikea has brought back, we have this rug, which has been going crazy on TikTok and Instagram. It is very, very soft to touch and one that I would love to put my feet on if someone had it in their home. This is also a new fun pattern. It kind of reminds you of grass, of the earth, as does this one. They're not just sticking to the jute and sisal anymore. They are exploring into other fabrics, which is wonderful. Now let's move on to kitchen items. These plates are absolutely stunning. This will allow you to leave your plates and dinnerware out on display and use them as decor, not just as something functional. You can even get plate stands and mount them on the wall to keep them up there until you have your next dinner party. And if your napkins and your paper towels stay out on display, they do have some more paper towel holders, but to be completely transparent, it's normally better to just stick them inside of a cabinet on a peel and stick roll. It's a lot more functional and cleaner to look at. And yes, they have new gravy boats and a slightly scalloped butter tray. 
they are very much so leaning into the traditional and the cottage core once again so if you need some smaller accents ikea is a great place to go but i will say this is probably the best of the new collections this is a nice cream off white color this bowl is a serving bowl but you can also use it as a pedestal bowl on your coffee table on your dining table fill it with moss fruit whatever you want to really really make a statement They also have this pack of four spice jars for only $5. They're super tall and they're very easy to unscrew. You can see me doing it here with just one hand. So if you're making ginger shots or if you wanna get your seasonings organized, this is a great way to do so and they are glass. And look at this, this is a copper, a copper collection when it comes to cookware. Now Ikea cookware gets mixed reviews, but if you're looking for stunning cookware to purely have on display, this is the way to go. I cannot attest to its functionality, but man are these beautiful. And of course they come in many different shapes and sizes. These are also a matte sort of stoneware look when it comes to casserole dishes, cookware, things like that. Now this it was such a cool find. This is a ceiling clip set of nine. You can use this on small and large bags. It's always great to have clips on hand and they are just $3.99 for a set of nine. And these bowls are incredible. You get a set of three bowls for $30. They are metal. You can put them in the dishwasher. You don't have to worry about the chemicals from plastic. And they do come with lids, so you can use them for storage, so you can cook in them and just put the lid on it if you grated too much cheese or something like that. You don't have to transfer it to a different container than the one that you've kind of prepared whatever it is in. They also have this new pitcher for $25. It is very much of an earthenware pitcher. Very chic, very cute, and it is food safe. This wine glass is only $1.99, which I think is a wonderful price, but it is plastic. Ikea has released a lot more plastic items when it comes to their glasses and their other glassware, so just keep that in mind as you're shopping. Now we're moving into lighting and technology. There's not too much when it comes to lighting from Ikea, but they do have these two lamps now. It's a floor slash reading lamp for only $40. This is a steal in terms of pricing. It comes in this light beige, and it also comes in the gray green. The gray green will probably be very popular because it's a subtle way to add color to your home, no matter your design style, while still keeping it neutral. But remember, always go pick up your light bulb because their lamps do not come included with light bulbs, and you will have to drive right back to the store. They also release these lamps a little bit more traditional. I believe you might even be able to stain this one for 70 bucks and they also have the other one for $120. And if you're into cable management, these clips are really wonderful. You get a set of three for $1.99 and it will hold all of your cords to make sure you're not breaking them or losing track of them. And now let's move into everyone's favorite part of Ikea, the storage and decor. So we touched on this collection a little bit earlier, but these colors are just so stunning and dreamy. It's a great way to add some vibrancy and whimsy to your home. We have this blue pitcher up first. This color is just what dreams are made of. They also have textiles and lighting and paper napkins. I mean, there is something for everyone in this collection. So I urge you to go to your local store and check it out. Again, if you're enjoying today's video, please smash that subscribe button because I have new videos like this every single week.
They also have these new valet stands, which are great for holding your clothing and your towels, things like that. They're $39, so you have the towel ring, or you have this ring for clothing, and then you have the towel bar. This is great for a space-saving solution in a bathroom if you have a narrow space. They also have these brand new uh, storage caddies, so if you need something for your cleaning or you want something cute for college, this is a great option for your kid that doesn't break the bank, and they're going to have one that's different from everybody else. And some of these new storage containers are so cute. This one is $14.99. It's great for your pillows, blankets, and other textiles in your living room. It's even great for dog toys because it's not too high as to where they can't get it in themselves. But if you want something round, this basket is also another good option. This is not as great for dog toys though because it is a little bit tall, but having a textile hang out of it would look super duper chic. You could also use this as a planter for a faux plant. They also have these new storage boxes for the fridge and I love that they aren't just bright acrylic. They do have a gray blue hue to them, which makes them kind of blend in better a little bit more with your fridge because that is the color of the acrylic that they use in fridges. So that's a really nice designer touch. And this is a brand new storage cabinet that is indoor, outdoor. It's made of plastic. It isn't the cutest thing in the world, but if you need something to line your garage with that's fairly affordable, that provides closed storage, as opposed to those wire racks, this is a good option, but they do have ones that are completely open so you can mix and match to fit your needs. And it comes in this dark gray color. And here's a really good idea of just how large these cabinets are. And Ikea has released a new frame. It looks like birch. Of course, it is not birch. It has wood effect, but it is a very nice light hue. Great for modern organic spaces, modern traditional spaces, modern Victorian spaces, and even mid-century modern spaces. And this is one of my favorite frames from Ikea. It used to only come in black, but now they have this brown color and you can move the acrylic to serve as a shadow box if you so choose or something that is a little bit deep set. So there are options when it comes to that frame, but they've also released this one as well, which does accomplish the same goal. So these are very versatile frames from Ikea. And of course, Ikea has come out with a few more vases, but I'll be honest, a lot of them can be pretty expensive. So unless you love them, I'd probably pick them up from another store. But that is it for today's video. That is a look at everything new at Ikea in May of 2024. They have tons of new items, so head to your local store to start shopping. Let me know down in the comments what you're going to pick up. I picked up those pillowcases and a few frames, but let me know what do you love? What do you hate? Are you shopping in Ikea in May of 2024? If you liked today's video, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And until next time, have a beautiful day.